two very popular website builders widely available these days are Elementor, a drag and drop builder for WordPress, and Squarespace, also a visual builder but specifically for its own proprietary platform. Many blogs and videos have been published that outline the pros and cons of each, everything from ease of use to versatility to cost. We'll go over the basics of those points here, but really want to dig in a bit deeper to help you figure out what it all means for your digital ministry. Here at Digi, we focus on helping progressive leaders of spiritual communities share hope, healing, and light online, and having the best website that works for you is a great way to do that. Let's start with the features. We'll start with WordPress. WordPress, an Elementor which works on WordPress, is an open source platform, which essentially means its source code is open and accessible to any developer who wants to create a plugin, theme, template, all manner of integration pieces. This means there are a lot of options available, which sometimes is good, but sometimes can be overwhelming and confusing. It is highly customizable with themes, overall site styles and options, templates, ready-made page designs that can be put together, copied, and filled in with content to build a site. So if coding is your thing, HTML, PHP, advanced CSS, you'll be comfortable in WordPress world. But if you and coding go together like bananas and lettuce, then you can still be comfortable in WordPress world because the dashboard and interface are fairly intuitive, even without the coding stuff. For an even more intuitive interface and to cater to folks who really want nothing to do with coding or designing or anything, WordPress offers a variety of drag and drop page builders like Elementor. So if web design is not in your wheelhouse, fear not because WordPress in general has thousands of templates available and Elementor, which is in WordPress specifically also has thousands of templates available in all sorts of categories. All right, so let's go back to Squarespace. Squarespace, a more self-contained ecosystem, you know, it's its own thing, has about 100 templates available. What Squarespace lacks in number of templates, though, it makes up for with convenience. It's a one-stop shop, so to speak. So when you create an account with Squarespace and select a domain name, which you can register there as well, you are implementing the backups, security, and platform updating that come included with this service. Squarespace is considered a software as a service, which means there's a monthly fee to have all of these advantages. And when you cancel your subscription, you cancel those advantages and can take your name and some, but not all of your content to another platform. So there are not quite the same variety of plugins available for Squarespace because it's more of a self-contained platform, but on the positive side, that lends itself to a more consistent and readily available support experience. Like Elementor, the website page builder feature is intuitive and very easy to use. It offers a clean interface with a built-in assistant to guide you through the building steps. As you drag and drop, edit, reposition elements, change styles, you can visually see the progress because your design window is self-contained in a small floating window off to the side of your screen. Super convenient for instant feedback to know exactly what you're doing. Great, that was features. Let's talk about ease of use for each of these. So Elementor, working on WordPress, typically any type of software that offers many options has a bit of a learning curve. Elementor is no exception. However, there is no shortage of Elementor tutorials and courses that can help you to accomplish whatever you're trying to do. Here's the key. With Elementor or any website builder project, think about it first, plan it out with like a wireframe, a design mock-up, and then implement it. Before you open any website builder, your page should be planned out with at very least a sketch of a site map. Ideally, have 50% of your content planned and then a navigation menu in mind and your colors and brand styles all picked out. It's just very helpful when you get into things. So let's talk about ease of use for Squarespace. In our opinion, there is very little competition in the category of ease of use. The minimalistic design interface doesn't take up a lot of real estate on the screen, allows you to see what you're changing. There's not a lot of fancy or obscure labels or settings. It's very straightforward. In spite of all this, the same pre-planning philosophy applies. Plan ahead, it'll save you a lot of time and heartache in the long run. All right, last but not least, let's talk about cost. Elementor offers a free version with fewer features than the pro version, which costs $49 a year for one license. With the free version, you could likely build a very respectable site. Since there are so many plugins available, there are a ton of extra features freely available too. Squarespace starts at $12 per month if you pay annually. This price point is probably all that you're gonna need for a small to mid-sized spiritual community. The higher price plans, $18 a month and up, may be more appropriate for small businesses and e-commerce needs, but the starter plan is a good deal and in all that, you get 24-7 customer support, unlimited bandwidth and storage, an SSL certificate, mobile optimized websites. Good stuff. 
So what's best for your community? Well, that's always a great question. And the secret answer is it depends. The inclination might be to look at cost first, but using cost as a deciding factor, Elementor is less expensive, but you also need to evaluate the cost of your time. I mean, your staff's time and the time of volunteers, council, ministry leaders, and anyone else who might be asked to contribute to the site with their time or energy. As we mentioned earlier, pre-planning is key here. If you're building a new site from the ground up or sprucing up an existing site, first determine what your main message ought to be. Do you have a key phrase or tagline that identifies your community? What do you want people to know about your community and staff? What ministries are most important to be shared? Know the why. Know the why of your community. It should be the catalyst for the what that's displayed on the site and how you get there, no matter which of these platforms you use. And if you or your staff are not technically savvy, that's okay. You don't have to do all of this yourself. You can outsource the building of the site. Just take care of some edits along the way. It gives you time to get to know the platform a little bit while your site's being built. The bottom line is to invest in your digital ministry as much as your in-person ministry. If the past year and a half has taught us anything, it's that connection is not limited to the physical space of a building and that people are still seeking safe connection in very different ways these days. Remember, digital ministry is ministry. So if you're still confused or you need some help or you want someone to help you build out your site, we may have some availability. So get in touch with us. You can email us to evangelism at gmail.com or feel free to jump on our website and schedule an appointment on our Calendly and we can chat for 15 minutes, maybe point you in the right direction if you're still lost. Comment below if you have more questions and maybe we'll just make a video about it. We brought the knowledge today, now it's your turn to put it into action. Peace be with you while you do.